Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Motion Video. It's me, t Studio. I'm back with our analysis. It's been a while since I've done an analysis. Um, so today we have the monster Root Bork, and this is going to be the upcoming team race monster. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know whether or not this monster is actually worth racing for. So I hope you guys are excited to do. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, guys. So we have a new Megaton monster. Yes, this mythic is a tank, and it will be in a marathon called Space Treecraft. So this is like a uh, background story if you guys want to go ahead and read it i personally i normally just go ahead and skip it i don't read it anymore but if you guys want to go ahead and do it you can uh but it says root pork is a nature metal tank with megaton bleed poison and roots and damage mirror skills now this may sound very good to you it's quite all right but we're gonna actually get into it see if this monster is actually good or not so trait wise we have rank zero immune to burn and ignite that's pretty good especially the fact that one of his element is nature right these two they take a lot of damage from nature monsters so this is good having immunity to it then you have immunity to con control that's also good so this monster cannot be controlled unless it's trade disabled rank 3 status caster gains megaton in started battle now in case you guys don't know this right here this megaton is only one turn it is not three turns like we normally know of it's just one turn which kind of sucks actually sucks a lot the fact that it's only one turn but once this monster gets a turn in you will have to reapply the Megaton. If not, use a different skill and just let go of the Megaton. So, that size catcher is alright. It's not the best because it's only lasting one turn. Now, we have a clearer image right here that I kind of tapped on. Um, so, look at this. Root Borg. Poke and Provork. Deals moderate nature damage to an enemy, applies taunt to itself. So, you do have access to a taunt skill. If you do want to... Um, run this monster as a taunt and then you can pair it up with two dodge areas so once this monster gets a turn in you go ahead and use your taunt skill because the mecha taunt will run out just like that so if you want to go ahead and reapply it as a taunt you can now you also have plant present which is a moderate nature damage to an enemy it applies root to an enemy in case you guys don't know what root is it's basically just a status effect that basically makes the enemy monster lose a turn and it's only one turn that they lose sage clot Deals a moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies poison and bleed. So it's an AoE bleed and poison, not bad. It comes with two tortures, which is pretty sweet. Now you also have Cunning Looks, which is a Megaton and 50% damage mirror to itself. So there's the thing. You apply that Megaton with that 50% damage mirror, even if that Megaton's three turn, which I'm sure it is. But yeah, even if you apply that with damage mirror, it's quite alright. But where are the healing skills? You need heal skills, you need some type of removing torture skills or you know something to resist damage damage mirror helps but i'd rather take damage protection damage protection is a lot better now this monster is two elements it is nature and metal um i i see that it's in a mechanical book nothing else for team more so only mechanical for the traits you have again immune to ignite and burn con immune to control and status of megaton for one turn now in terms of stats you guys probably can't see but this monster has 419,492 life which is really important and that is like that's actually high i would say it's a few points higher than fropsy and you guys know fropsy right fropsy had the highest life stat in the game but i think now this monster has the highest life stat i might be wrong but yeah unless negan has the highest which i haven't reviewed yet because the monster still needs to come out 25,328 power and 14,144 speed okay so the overall in terms of stats, I do like the life, you know, which is really important, obviously. But um, in terms of skills, it could have been better. Now, let me go ahead and tap this. We need a more clear image, you know, something zoomed in. So, let's take a look at the relics. Armor and mask. Not bad. That's actually good. Armor is good for tanks. Mask, you can give in, like, bio worm bot mask. Because that mask actually exists. I'm not sure if it's craftable, though. But... It's a good mask, so relic slots are pretty good, I like that. Um, base attacks, okay, so you have a 25% damage mirror to itself. You also have a low nature damage to one enemy, poison, it comes with poison. You have a low metal damage AoE with bleed, 50% damage mirror for another skill, and then the rest we already saw. So sadly, no type of skill that heals this monster, no type of skill that gives damage protection, or things like that. So overall, the monster is meh, in my opinion. It's really not the best. I'd rather, honestly... Hornroot exists. If you guys have Hornroot, 
use that over this monster same elements almost same element i mean we have nature to nature right and nature is not the best right now because of serpentix and cupid they're like still dominating this meta so you gotta be careful so pvp root board will die very very quickly just letting you guys know uh, for team wars you're gonna be you're gonna have to be careful of you know pierce monsters like those the ones that i just mentioned uh, in terms of ultimate, we have Tech Juice, which is a moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies bleak toxins to all enemies, applies 100% life shield. Okay, that was not bad. Actually, it comes with two tortures while you're doing a lot of damage. I just wish it was more of a support skill, more of a self-support, rather than, you know, taking care of the enemy. Like, for example, give it, you know, 100% heal with life shield with maybe some other cool stuff. But no, it's not like that. But a hey, ultimate, you barely get it anyway, so it's whatever. But overall... The monster is okay. I don't think it's worth bracing 85 laps or 60 laps. The most I would say maybe 20 or 40 laps the most, honestly. This monster is not that good. Um, I'd rather, like if you have Horn Root again, you know, use Horn Root over this monster. Same element and it's not in many books. It's only in one mechanical book for Team Wars and that's about it. No other books in Team Wars. Yeah, I know he has more books like, for example, Cosmos Civilization and Elementals, but that is just for book rewards. You don't see those element, those books in Team Wars, you know what I mean? So again, the monster is okay, but not the best. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this monster. Um, I think our team will probably go for like 10 laps or something just to get the egg. But I don't know, some people will probably vote for more. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.